Moving on. Oh, Eric wanted to talk about this. EA canceled the Mandalorian game. Yes, and like we had just the one learned we about. just learned yeah. about. The one we were so excited about yeah. on this channel. Yeah, and then EA is like swooped in. Uh, EA's like, oh, you like that idea? Yeah. Good. G- g- thanks for the feedback. We <laughs> have to be shitty. Yeah. We can't come up with a good idea, so we're going to have to cancel it. I mean, this is on top of them already doing something shitty. Uh, February 28th, EA announced a major company shakeup that will result in roughly 670 individuals or 5% of its workforce losing their jobs. As part of that same reorganization, Respawn's Star Wars first person an in-development game uh, is being canceled. Uh, Following CEO and just straight up dumbass uh, Andrew Wilson's announcement of the cuts, EA Entertainment President uh, Laura Millier uh, shared a note with staff explaining in more detail what EA's business priorities would be going forward. This includes her announcement that EA is shutting down an early development Star Wars FPS action game as part of an ongoing focus on its own uh, on its own owned brands and supporting its existing games. It's always hard to walk away from a project, but this decision is not reflected a uh, reflection of the team's talent, uh, ten- tenacity, or passion they have for the game. Uh, giving fans the next installments of classic franchises they want is the definition of blockbuster storytelling and the right place to focus. Not much was known about the Star Wars first-person shooter, but it was rumored to feature the Mandalorian protagonist in some way. Uh, The fate of EA's Star Wars strategy game is also unclear. EA is undertaking the move uh, in part due to what it perceives to be rapid shift towards large open-world games, massive communities, and live service games. Um, IGN understands that the team previously working on the game uh, will largely be reassigned to other projects, including Apex Legends, Iron Man, Black Panther, and the Jedi series, uh, for which EA has confirmed a third installment. The Star Wars Jedi franchise will continue despite EA's move to focus on owned IP, and EA is said to remain focused on its long-standing partnership with Disney and Marvel. So, EA fired 670 individuals. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll note that the CEO last year made $20.7 million, and... They had major stock buybacks last year, so all of the executives uh, got their stocks bought back at a premium. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's exactly how this that should work. It's exactly so how they it's spent to work. all of that money on the executives, and then they were like, "Ooh, Ooh. we ran out of money. Oh no, give me you guys. I can't just fund you out of pocket. Oh no." This after. Creating terrible decision after terrible decision yeah. as, a, as a company. <laughs> like, there's there's so many things here. Like, there the Jedi games are factually the only Star Wars games that people actually liked out of EA. Mm-hmm. There's gonna be somebody who says, "Oh, but I like uh, Squadrons and whatnot." It, it wasn't that good. <laughs> yeah. So the Jedi games were fundamentally the only games people actually liked even though ea clearly did not want to make them because they did not think single player only games made money anymore it's their best-selling star wars game they're the most beloved star wars games made by respawn who has shown to make great game after great game be it titanfall 2 be it apex legends or be it the jedi games and now you have respawn making a first person star wars game after you know they made the best Star Wars games in years and Titanfall 2 the the best first person shooter of its generation and EA's like no we don't want you to do what you're good at do the games that they make sell a lot cuz so well okay so they have sports stuff yay yeah. yeah so that's like they always have that yeah it's their money maker yeah like the their fo- their soccer games like dominate so i'm um, I, I pulled up the list of all their games or their published games because I just want to know, like, when was the last time they had a good game? Yeah. Uh, a Jedi Survivor, of course. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dead Space was bad, right? People didn't like that? No, people liked Dead Space. Oh, they people did- didn't like the other one. Blister of Protocol. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dead Space, okay. That was last year. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll but, allow it. But, you know, the Dead Space remake is essentially EA trying to capitalize on a franchise that fans liked, but EA continually tried to ruin yeah. game after game after game until they released the third game, which was an absolute disaster. Before that, wait, wait what's Titanfall Assault? 
probably some dumb mobile real time game. strategy mobile game. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I don't Dragon Age Inquisition, 2014. I think was the last good fucking I, I EA think, game. I think they're making a new one, but like I don't know if I, I skipped Battlefront two because that wasn't. I didn't like that. Yeah, it, Battlefront two wasn't good. Um, I legitimately think Dragon Age Inquisition was the last good EA game. Yeah. <laughs> Before fucking Dead Space. Yeah. There's Need for Speed. Okay, so yeah. I, those are probably good. Yeah, you know, dirt. Dirt games are good. Mm-hmm. That's that's that. How are they around? How are they one of the biggest game companies on the planet? I think they're just coasting on like all the all the games that they used to make that were really good. Mm-hmm. Like especially like of course the you know the Madden and the FIFA games or Football Club now it's called. Um, all their sports games, of course, make you know bank, but. Yeah, it's just, you know, when it comes to, like, the traditional AAA console space, them, out of, like, all the companies, like, just continue to make, like, the worst decisions. Because, like, they don't really have an original bone in their body. A lot of their games, especially during, like, the 360 PS3 era, they were, like, I don't want to use the term Me Too games, because, like, that has a whole connotation to it. During the what era? The 360 PS3 era. Okay. They were, like... Oh, you like Call of Duty? We have that too. It's called Medal of Honor. Oh, oh the, okay. That's what I mean. Like, it's, it's like a, too. It's like a pick me, yeah, pick me game. <laughs> exactly. That's what I meant. It's like, oh, you like God of War? We have Dante's Inferno. Oh, you like Grand Theft Auto? We have The Godfather. You know. You know what though? It worked for them to a point. Yeah. I think it became blatantly obvious what they were doing, mm-hmm. and people like don't like didn't like the new medal of honor they made fun of dante's inferno you know godfather one i liked godfather one nobody liked godfather two throughout the years ea had uh like there would be a diamond in the rough every once in a while yeah there'd be a game where i'd load it up and it would say ea games (laughs) and i'd be like oh it's ea i didn't realize that but for the most part you know you're getting something that's not gonna be great look i will defend ps2 era ea because like they actually put time and effort all into i'm their thinking games. of is is uh the agent under fire everything no, or night, nothing night night fire you're thinking of everything or nothing the one that was filmed like a movie yes no uh, night fire was also good but you're the one you're thinking of is everything or nothing no i'm thinking of night fire the ps2 one yeah yeah i'm thinking of night fire look up everything or nothing the one with the motorcycle level. That's everything or nothing. Nightfire was the first person shooter. You're thinking of I'm that thinking, one. I'm thinking of everything or nothing. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm thinking of everything or nothing. <laughs> yes, like EA, like during, again, during the PS2 era, their James Bond games were really good. Their Lord of the Rings games were really good. You know, they, they had a few like, you know, duds here and there, but like when they actually put the time and effort into things, they were really like, they're, they're, um, their Need for Speed games during that era were great, but yeah, their Medal of Honor games during that Burn, era were great. Burnout, Burnout, yeah. yeah. Medal of Honor took a hard dive. It did, yeah. yeah. But nowadays, it's just like they're chasing trends. They're innovating in the wrong places. They're not giving themselves enough leeway to uh, do uh, do a fun thing. You yeah, know, they're not. They're not. They're not. Uh, or if they try to do like a fun thing, there's always like a caveat to it. Yeah, catch. there's always something. Yeah, like a live service thing. Yeah, exactly. Um. Okay. Moving on. Star Wars strategy game still alive. Yeah. This so EA doesn't want to make a first person Mandalorian game, which seems to be what everybody wants. But apparently, the Star Wars strategy game in development at Bit Reactor and produced by Apex Legends and Jedi developer Respawn has survived. That's because they can microtransact this to all hell. That's why. Uh, some have expressed concern about the fate of the Star Wars strategy game, but a tweet fr- by, devel- by developer BitReactor confirmed it survived the cull. Last week was difficult for the industry, and more so because of our strong relationship with others at the teams at Respawn. Um, but for those asking, we are still hard at work, and our game ha- was unaffected by the last week's news. In a subsequent tweet... Uh, responding to a question asking when the Star Wars strategy game would be unveiled, Bit Reactor said, uh, "As soon as it's ready." 
Here's what I don't. So understand. we don't know what this game is. Other no, than it was it was game. announced um, in January 2022 alongside two other uh, two others, all overseen by Respawn. Um, the first person shooter has been canceled. Uh, Jedi Three is currently in development, and there's also the strategy game. Here's what I don't understand: strategy games. I'm not before any strategy game fans like come at me and stuff i'm not saying they're not popular i'm not saying they don't have an audience it's just that they typically have a smaller audience than the big budget triple a first person shooter series right so and ea Uh, is all about chasing where the money is the bigger the bigger franchises the sexier mm -hmm. franchises you know first person shooters are sexy real uh strategy games not really that sexy. I'm just assuming this is a mobile game, or has a or, or or is going to release on a mobile platform as well. So I would argue that if it releases for mobile, it has potential to reach a very wide audience. True, but I just think that when it comes to something like this, you know, usually EA goes for like the low hanging fruit, like you know, a Star Wars first person shooter people hear those two phrases together they're gonna want to know more they're gonna be invested they're gonna want to see what this is a star wars strategy game that's a game for nerds we don't want (laughs) nerds we want cool people first person shooters are cool i think this is their them trying to make a clash of clans that's that's star wars Mm. that's what i think this is yeah Uh, again i'm assuming it's mobile because it's a strategy game and it's ea yeah you know and they want to make as much money as possible well it's a bit reactor the developer um, it was formed by Firaxis Games veterans, best known for their work on XCOM. Oh, so oh, maybe it will be a traditional strategy game like an XCOM or or Command and Conquer or something like. You know, EA owns Command and Conquer. Do they do shit with it? No. Okay, maybe it will be like an XCOM. Yeah. Okay, that, that, uh, I'm not getting any hopes up. No. Um, maybe they decided that the first person shooter game was take was going to require too much money and resources and stuff. It might not yeah, be that good. Probably. The problem is EA seems, sees all these games that they've made in the past and they're like, yeah, these didn't really pay off. It's because they were bad. EA. Yeah. It's not because you didn't shove enough money into it. It's not because they were money sinks. Anything, because you, you shoved too much money into yeah, it. And then you didn't give the developers the time necessary to actually make the game they wanted to make. Or, or you fucking purposely like ran it into the ground like Titanfall two. Yeah. Released it between two... Uh, Released it between a Call of Duty and a Battlefield. Yeah, Battlefield, which they had control over. Yeah. That doesn't that didn't make any fucking yeah. sense at all. Why would you release it next to your other game? Yeah. 